Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Still the best course of action. I'll see if we have to be quiet. Meet you back here. Caden? God. It's hard seeing you like this. Don't know if you can hear me. Since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm gonna take my chances. Don't die, Caden. You've got to fight. We need you in this. Seeing you in action again reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. You need anything, Doc, let me know. the metagel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? But... I... I, I don't understand. It, it doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. about this already. I told you about his mission and... Nonsense. I just filled out the paperwork. He's very punctual when he's on the field. He checks in every week. Only... He hasn't checked in for a while now. A month. Anyway, I'd like to file an expedited contact request. Yes. Of course, ma'am. But... The notes on his file state he's not under a contact ban. Oh. You already looked. How kind of you. I'm just so worried. It's not like him to go quiet for so long. As soon as I get news, ma'am, I'll let you know as soon as I get news. Thank you. You're such a nice young woman. You know, you remind me of my daughter-in-law.
There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Damn press. See, so you're keeping the peace? Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. <laughs> Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. It'll probably get worse before it gets better, Bailey. Yeah, if it ever gets better. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the Council is already in session. Councillor, the Reapers are in our space as well. Earth is no more or less important than any Council homeworld. But Earth was the first Council world hit. By all reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. How do you know this is the brunt? New Reaper fronts are opening up everywhere. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. A full-scale invasion. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Earth may be suffering, but our worlds are falling too. The Turians have lost Tatris. We must fight this enemy together. Need I remind you that the last time we fought the Reapers, Shepard sacrificed the Council to protect human interests. True. But in the end, we survived because we followed Shepard's lead. And what if that's not enough this time? The reports are dire. If we throw everything we have at the Reapers on Earth and lose, what then? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. Prothean? What is it exactly? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. And this is capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. It's immense. And intricate. This is a fool's errand. The Protheans were wiped out by the Reapers. Clearly, the weapon is flawed. It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you believe in this, Shepard? After what you've seen of the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Udina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The Council cannot give Earth the military support it needs. Our own planets must come first. The Salarian Union is convening a summit amongst our species. If we can secure our own borders, we may be able to aid you. Our fleets are also engaged. Honesty is all I can offer, Commander. 
I will not make a promise of rescue that I cannot keep. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? Commander, I can't give you what you're asking for, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Palavin's Primarch Fedorian is the one that called the War Summit. He's your kind of man, open to extreme solutions. Trouble is, he didn't get out of Palavin's system when the Reapers attacked. We don't know if he's alive. He's essential to the summit. If the Normandy could extract him without being detected, 